Hi everyone, happy happy Tuesday, I hope you're okay. Um, I am rotten with cold again. Um, I cannot shake this one, I really can't, I don't know what is going on. Oh, am I frozen? It's frozen, isn't it? Hang on, hang on a second. Oh, I just refro I just unfroze that and now it's frozen again. Oh, what is it doing? <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm just going to try and get this back up and running. Why is that? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's unfrozen, I think. Ugh, stupid thing. I got them all going. I went live and then one froze. <laughs> there we go. Back now. Um, yeah, I am I thought I'd got rid of this cold and I definitely haven't. It's definitely come back with a vengeance, which is yay. So I'm feeling rough, my darlings, but never mind. Um, we are busy in the shop trying to get it all back together and we've had lots and lots of people in, with, which is lovely. Um, all, Tuesdays are always always busy in the shop, always, always. Um, we've had loads of bookings come through for our April retreat, the new dates. So if you are thinking about it, you need to get on it quick because it's starting, it's almost, it's almost gone again. So, um, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, it's very exciting that you all want to come and spend time with us. <laughs> listen to us waffle <laughs> um i hope you hope you all had a good weekend we had a lush weekend up at newark uh sean and i went to newark there stayed behind in the shop and um we saw some lovely people lots of people brought us manx blocks which is brilliant we saw the lovely natalie she was uh she came to see us um so yeah it was really really nice to to catch up with some people and see you all in person and you all shopped a lot <laughs> so um we're going to crack on with it today. We're going to do a little block. Um, and as you know, I said that we were going to revisit some older blocks and do them sort of in new, slightly different styles. So um, this one might be good if you're trying to get rid of scraps. If you're one of those very organised people that cut your scraps into like two and a half inch strips and stuff, this will be good for that. Or if you've got a jelly roll and a layer, a, a jelly roll and a charm pack that are the same, um or from the same designer so the colors go um that this because very often lots of people particularly it shows they'll buy they'll buy matching charm pack jelly or ch jelly layer this is brilliant for this this works really really well so we're gonna go uh, let's say hello to some people first hi kate hi cheryl uh thanks natalie yeah hi carol hi leslie hello my darlings uh please do say hello if you're there right uh, hi Anne, hi Eileen, <laughs> uh, Anne's over at the shop with us as well. <laughs> so hopefully I'm over here and this is working. I'm just going to move my hand a little bit, see if this is working. Yes it is, I can see it is. So this is the block we're going to be doing today. It's called Garden Lattice. It's a really, really old block. Um, it's been around for ages and it's normally quite a small block. So what I've done is kind of up, changed around the measurements so that it works perfectly with a charm pack and a jelly roll. Now, if you cut your scraps down to, lots of people do, two and a half inch strips or five inch pieces, um, this would work brilliant for this and would look beautifully scrappy. I'm using, I'm using scraps to be honest, but this is the um, Rainbow Sherbet Charm Pack. I had a couple of squares left, so that's why I'm doing the block in this. And this was, I had a couple of jelly rolls left of the Ombre Metallic Flurries one. So um, I'm just making these, spe the, you know, these demo blocks up in my scraps. But like I said, this works brilliantly if you've got a charm and a jelly you want to use up. If not, you could use a jelly and then cut um, five inch squares from voltage, from meterage. OK, so sorry, you're going to have to excuse the sniffing. I am incredibly bummed up. Um, what you're going to need then for each block, you'll need a five inch square of one fabric. OK. A fabric one and then from fabric two which becomes the outside you will need four two and a half by three and a quarter inch pieces and you'll need four two and a half by five and a quarter inch pieces okay and then from your background fabric you will need four now my background fabric I'm just using a cream you could use any color you want you know if it's a paler jelly and charm use a darker color but because this is quite bright, I'm just using a, a pale cream. Um, so you want four one and a half by two and a halves, and then you want two one and a half by five inch, and you want two one and a half by seven inch. Okay, so that's everything you need for one block. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little 
two and a half by three and a quarter in our fabric twos okay like this and we're going to sandwich one of the little one and a half by two and a halves in between so we're going to do this all right so we're going to put that like that like, like that quarter inch seam allowance okay we're going to create that little unit all right so right sides together like that i'm going to stitch down and then i'm going to press that out and then we're going to add this one on and i'm going to do the same with this one so over to the machine my lovelies and then you are going to need to talk to me and tell me what you've been up to what have you all been working on sorry excuse me i'm trying really hard not to sniff as much but it's really not working <laughs> there we go so um oh come on oh, did not want to work then okay so just quarter inch seam loads and we're just going to sandwich one of those little tiny background pieces in between the two and a half by three quarter inch okay so i'm going to put that one on there like that you can pin if you want to but you don't need to um, this is one of those blocks that um, grows really quickly. It's quite simple to do. Your cutting's quite good. Uh, hi, Sue. Uh, I have to catch up later for some reason. If you watch live, it keeps freezing. Oh, oh sorry about that, lovely. Hopefully it's not us. Um, there we go. So down that way. But remember, all of our videos stay on our Facebook page. You can watch again later or sew along with us later or um, they then go onto our, fa um, our YouTube channel as well. So, oh, there's a very noisy dog outside. That's not mine. <laughs> I'm gonna get down that one as well. Okay. No, you think it's your end? Oh, fair enough, lovely. Oh, well, um, hopefully it gets fixed, lovely. But yeah, watch when it's not streaming. <laughs> okay, so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron them out towards the darker fabric. Okay, so I'm just going to gently finger press that first, like that. And then just press that down. And then the same with this one. So just finger press that one out. But like I said, if you've got layers and jellies, uh, layers and charms, I keep saying layers and charms. Jellies and charms there. This is a brilliant block for this and it comes together really, really nicely. So done those two little ones and I'm going to do the same now with the two and a quarter by uh, two and a half by five and a quarter ones. So exactly the same. We're going to add in that little piece there to make slightly the same sort of block, but slightly longer. OK, and that one's going to go in there. So exactly the same as we did with these little ones. We're going to do with that. So again, over to the machine. Take that over there. Hi Janice, how are you lovely? Hope you are okay and everybody is well. So what have you, anybody been up to? Has anybody been up to anything exciting this weekend? Not like I said, lots of you did come and see us at the um, at Newark. Um, it was chilly but it wasn't too bad and the weather stayed okay for us to set up and pack break down which I do like. <laughs> there we go. So we've got Newton Abbott coming up now in February. That's our next show, which is end of Feb. So we've got a very, very busy time before then, mind. We've got classes galore. We've got two classes this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We've got classes running. Um, and then we've got um, we've got a chanda, a crate and craft then the following week. And then Sir Jane's off because she's off to Disney um, with Maggie and the girls. Um, and then we've got more Crate and Craft. <laughs> oh, you've been full of cold as well, Lindy Lee. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it, babes? I just can't shake it. Hi, Margaret. How are you, love? There we go. So back over to here. And then we're going to... It's, everybody seems to have it though this flipping cold that's going around and we're going to just press that out again out towards the bigger pieces uh, and on that one as well okay so that's a little bit of prep work done and now we get to assemble the whole block so I'm going to take your fabric one five inch square whatever charm square you're using or whether you've cut it yourself and first of all we're just going to border this with the other background pieces. So we've got one and a half by fives. 
and then we're going to put those down the side so we're going to add this one first okay so let's just add that one to there and then that one to there like that I'm going to stitch down iron it out and then we're going to add these ones on okay uh, back over to the machine um Cheryl, what's that lovely? You've just finished your FPP quilt top you're making for your son. Now to work out how to sandwich and start quilting. Oh, lovely. Um, here we go. So we're going to stitch down this one. Uh, let's have a picture, please, Cheryl. Let's see what you've um, been doing. Is that the fabrics you bought from me from Harrogate? I remember you telling me then you were doing a quilt for your son. If so, I'd like to see a picture, please. <laughs> Margaret, you're still suffering from your bad back, so not allowed to lift anything. Watching lots of white gecko. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, I hope we entertain you a little bit, lovely, and take you off, take your mind off your bad back. So, so while I was at Newark, uh, Phil and Alex decided they were going to decorate Alex's bedroom. So they, my house looks like a tit because they've emptied Alex's bedroom into the front room, um, and they, it was all. Um, it was like red and white originally, so but no, they went and bought more paint. Right, I'm just going to iron this one out, guys. Two seconds. Um, went and bought more paint. And then Alex has spent two days hand drawing out hexagons everywhere, all over the one wall. He's doing like this big design wall. I made him a DD and d quilt, which is hexagons. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> right, these are then going to go down that long edge like that. So this is the one and a half by seven inch pieces. So they're going to go on like that. So I'm going to stitch down those ones. There we go. Um, and I can't believe the patience of Alex. I mean, he's hand drawn perfect hexagons all over the one like long wall in his bedroom, which he's then going to mark out. Well, he started already masking them out before painting them. So basically, so it matches his quilt that I made him, which I think is very, very sweet. Oh my god! If you if you could see how perfect these hexes were, I don't know where he gets the patience. I'd have done about six and have been like, oh no, not doing this. <laughs> but yeah, he's done hundreds of these hex guns in like sort of a honeycomb design all over the one wall, and now he's masking out every every single edge. It's crazy. I mean, he's a lunatic, but a talented lunatic. <laughs> Okay, right. Okay, so all I've done there then is just border in my background fabric that charm square. Okay, like that, just with one and a half inch strips. Okay, like that. And then we're going to start building this block up. So like I said, it's a very easy block. So you're going to start with the shorter of those little units we made. And we're going to put those on. Now I always like to go opposite sides. So we're going to go from there. So you see, so this is the bit that I put on first. So if that's my long edge, I like to go back to short edge and long edge. I don't know why, I just do. Okay, those are now going to go on there. Okay, so we're going to pop those ones on. So yeah, to there like that. Just make sure that fits, just ease that in. And then I'm going to put that one on that side. Okay. Uh, it is that one. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'd like to see a picture, please, Cheryl, when you're uh, done, please. Here we go. Just get that one in like that. Okay, all the way down this one, quarter of an inch. Um, so, yeah, going back to classes and stuff, we've got, uh, what have we got coming up in February? We've got the Jeeves bag class. Um, there are some spaces left on that one if anybody fancies doing that. It's a really, really lovely bag which holds all your rulers, cutting mats and everything. And you can hang it on the wall when you're not using it as a ruler hanger. And then when you want to go to class or anything, you know, maybe you go to you know, a guild meeting or a sewing class or something, um, or group, you know, a sewing group, you can just take it off the wall, fold it in half, and you take everything with you and it's all nice and contained. So I think Sarah did a little live on it last week and showed you. There we go, so just stitching down that one. Hi Jen, how are you, lovely? Uh, back over to the overhead. So I've just added that one on, and again, I'm just pressing that gently out. Press that, don't stretch them. Although I did a little bit on the white one here, but never mind, I could have squared that up, I suppose. 
There we go, just press that one out like that. And then we're gonna add on the long pieces, which are gonna go up like that. And then along there like that. Okay, so we're gonna add that on. And then you would make as many of these blocks as you wanted for your quilt. Because it's this little bits of sashing that you put in between that brings it all to life. So last little bit here. It's like you say, what's that? I've only been going, what, seven, 16, 17 minutes? Quick as anything, this block. And it looks like you've spent ages with it. Okay, right, so I'm just trying to get this into place. There we go. And because it's all, um, what's the word? Uh, all done with pre-cuts, really, apart from your background fabric. If you do it with a jelly and a charm, it's really, really quick to do this block. I think it looks really effective. I feel like it's almost got like a Japanese feel to it. And I don't even know why. Um, Jenny, you're okay, thank you. Need to pop in more for the apron tie material. You don't know what they do with them. What are they doing to those ties? How do they keep messing them up, hun? Good grief. Well, we've got more coming in, love. So, well, we've got more in the shop and we've got more coming in. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Just pop in when you're ready. I think your um, wool is in as well. I think Sarah said she rang you. If your wool was in. Okay, all the way down that one. Like that. Right. So that's actually the main bit of the block done. Okay, I'm just going to gently press that out. Like that. Here we go. And there. Press that one out as well. So I want you to get your get into your stashes and find those jelly rolls and charm packs you've not used, okay? And you can see that you end up with little blocks that look like this, okay? Now what you would do then is, let me just, I haven't just realized I haven't cut the sashing piece. <laughs> let me just cut some sashing fabric for you and just show you. So it ends up at 11 inches square once you get to this point, okay? Like that. And like I said, you could this could be any colour, depending on what, you know, it doesn't have to be white. I think it looks quite nice white or cream against the darker colours. But let me just cut the sashing piece and you can see how it kind of all comes together then. So again, the sashing pieces, you want one and a half inch strips. I'm just going to cut a one and a half inch strip off this little bit. This is the scrappy fabric I've been using for the... Oh, I've got to put a new blade in here as well. <laughs> I've, <coughs> I've obviously got a nick in it. Here we go. Like that. I'm not going to sew it on because what I want to do is I'm going to make four of these so I can make like a big project wallet or something. Um, they check the washing machine and they're not in there. So who knows what they're doing with them? Say so message you, brilliant. I, well, maybe the washing machine's eating them, love. Okay. <laughs> so what you would do is you'd put your sashing pieces. Oh, let me bring these down a little bit. There we go. You'd put one and a half inch sashing pieces in between your blocks, however many you're going to do. So you, it ends up that this all looks like it's all following on. It's all like joined and everything. And then once you've done that, you would then put a sash in, in between your rows and add more blocks on. So really, really simple little block. But like I said, they're normally quite small, these blocks. They tend to traditionally they've done it like six and a half inches. But I've just updated it just to use a jelly roll and a charm pack. So you've got a lot less cutting, basically. A lot, lot, lot less cutting. Um, and, you know, four together would make a really nice size cushion. You, know, you could do four as a cushion or not be funny, but they're because they're quite a good size block. Once you've put your sashing in between, you'd only have to do maybe nine or 12 together. And that would make a really nice lap quilt or play mat or something, you know, so it doesn't use much fabric up. That's what I had left from the green jelly roll strip. So I still had that, which will go back in my scrap box um, after doing a whole block. So one charm pack and one jelly roll strip and you're getting a whole block out of it. OK, so from a charm pack and a jelly, you'd get 42 blocks, which is going to be humongous quilt. I mean, that's a du double bed size quilt. So that's uh that's our little block for today um really nice little easy one and like i said over the next few weeks that's kind of my plan is to go back over some older blocks or more traditional blocks shall we say rather than older ones traditional blocks and see how uh have i frozen again i have haven't i hang on 
what is this one camera is playing up this one camera is definitely playing up oh let's try again here we go we're back maybe i wonder why the one is freezing i'll have to have a look at it when i'm off air love there we go <laughs> very strange right um yeah so that's the block um i'll be back tomorrow at seven i might right it might be a bit later than seven it might be half past seven uh, Josh is picking up his new car tomorrow and I've got to drive him it, to pick it up at half past five. So I should be back in time. But just in case traffic is horrendous, I will definitely do it. Just bear with me. I will be as near to seven o'clock as I can be. The plan is to be back about half past six. So I've got time to, to come on. But just in case traffic is horrendous, I will definitely do it. But it might not be dead on seven. OK. <laughs> just it's typical of all the days he's like oh I, I i booked to pick it up on wednesday evening after work is that okay i was just like wednesday you know i do a light live on wednesday evenings so he was like oh yeah i forgot and now we can't change it so um so i will be here tomorrow evening it might just be a few minutes later than seven if the traffic's bad um but at least he's getting his new car which is good um well, new to him obviously not a new new car not for a first ever car don't do that but new to him car so um i will see you tomorrow guys um yeah take care and see you soon bye